Howdy, and this is Chris at the LME Repair Shop with a video, another video, on the Briggs & Stratton black plastic carburetors. There are two, uh, two different kinds. There's a kind for the ones with the automatic choke, which is right, there's the choke. And then there's the other kind that doesn't have the automatic choke. It has a primer bulb and it vents in through there. And be careful not to lose this little white piece here. That's kind of a metering valve for the air on the on the primer. And if you lose that, then it won't meter and you won't get any prime. One thing to watch out for on these when you take them apart is you see that little white disc in the center there? When you pull out the jet, that'll be loose in there. And sometimes they'll come loose and you can't get them back together. You have to get it lined up. So anyway, what we're going to do here is we've got one with the automatic choke that has the typical won't start. You can spray some starter fluid in it and it starts and dies. And the problem is that the carburetor is all fouled up. So let's start with the disassembly. It's got two 7 millimeter self taps on the bottom, on the bowl. And and take a small screwdriver, kind of work it in there, get that off. Oop, then we got goop and yuck. I don't know if you can see how yucky the yuck is, it's kind of syrupy. But, take the float out, take the hinge pin, and just snap it out. And then the needle will fall out, which goes in there. Ooh, that is some nasty stuff. It's got something red in it. Okay, that's part of it. And the other thing, which most people don't go into, is to remove these jets. you got to be careful not to break them. I see people popping this bulb out, hammering down on the top. If you take and you hold this with the, the pickup tube pointing to the right, and just above it, go right here. Put a small screwdriver in, and it'll pop right out. Ooh, and that one's yellow. It's nasty. Okay, so let's start cleaning this up. Okay. <coughs> so now, just take and spray your, your float and your bowl with a little carburetor cleaner. Dry them out. There's the hinge pin. Be sure not to lose that. There's the needle, got a rubber, rubbery tip, dry it all off, put that in there for safekeeping. Now the jet, you want to take and put something here, this is two pieces, and pry it apart. And the thing to watch out, don't pinch your finger in there, it hurts like a son of a bitch. And take and spray clean all these. You got the emulsifying tube here. You got the holes there. You got one, two, three on that side and three on that side. There's your, your jet. There's your metering jet right there. Clean that. Spray this out with carburetor cleaner. Clean all the little holes. And make sure that that's really clean. Then take and run some carb cleaner through the jet. And blast this a couple times. I'm not going to do it by the lens because I don't want to get it on my lens. And of course the fuel will shoot out of the emulsifying tube. Then take a, some kind of a cleaner and go Make sure there's nothing in there. Then blast it again with some carb cleaner. Which like I said, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to get on the lens. Okay. 
take that, spray it down, dry it off, set it aside. This also has a small orifice in it, and you want to clean it right there. And it goes down into the center there, which goes to the outside of the emulsifier tube. So spray inside there. And you'll see that it shoots into the tube. Dry that off. And then put that back together. You do that. Go back and forth and don't catch your finger in it. Son of a gun. Oop, this one's being a bit of a pain in the butt. Let's put a little lube in there. Hang on just a second. Okay, so you get that, snap it back together, make sure this is seated down all the way. Now the other thing you want to do is you want to spray through all here, and we won't do it again on the, in front of the lens. We'll take them and blow it out with some air to dry it out. See, we're missing a piece in this one here. There's a little aluminum piece, which means somebody else has been here before us. It's a little cover that goes there. And let me take my scrap one here. The one that has the primer. I'll pop that out and I'll put that in this one right here. So we've been helped before. And although this isn't totally kosher, just kind of pop that in. Yeah, put that one in. Make sure that sets in there. And then we'll start to put it back together. Look in there, and I think we're okay. That didn't go. This only goes in one way. There's two deep holes, with one of them being the jet, and one that doesn't go in as far. Push that in. Usually, I gently tap it. Just you know, make sure that you're you're in all the way. If it doesn't go in when you push it in, don't force it. Make sure that it started to go in before you do that. Then take your needle seat and hinge pin, put your needle in the little slot there, and put your hinge pin into the plastic hole for the hinge pin, and line up the needle into the hole, and then line up the hinge pin and carefully push down on it give it a snap and if you look you'll see both sides are down inside the little gap Make sure it's there the needle's still there now another thing I do on these before you put it together this cap has light oil in it you put some oil on this seal I've had some times where they get kind of compromised and then they push up and bind. And so line that up. I always do it so the fuel line's facing me. And then you see you got the pickup for the jet going off to the right. You got your two screw holes lined up there to the right there. You put that over there. Try and line them up on the, the holes and give them some uh, 
push them and push them and push them and there's now they're really not lined up so you just kind of give it a little bit of a turn put these in and those are seven millimeter in a second. Okay, so go ahead and tighten these puppies up. They'll also straighten out the, the bowl alignment. Don't tighten them down too much because they are threaded into plastic. And you see it's all lined up evenly. Now something I do on all carburetors is I take and I put a piece of hose on it and I blow on it. It should have mild resistance when it's right side up. And then when we turn it upside down, it should lock up. Don't use an air compressor for this. Just use your own uh, pressure. Turn it over, it'll go, turn it upside down, it should block. That way you're sure the needle and seat are seating. And then go put it back on. I hope this video was assistance to you. And when you put it back in, you've got your throttle, which you have on both the uh, primer and the uh, automatic choke models and then the automatic choke models you have this lever here so you have a lever here which will go back to your thermostatic control on your muffler and then this goes to the throttle goes to the governor and there's a spring there only goes one way okie doke I hope this has helped and as I always say once you got it going happy mowing